So now that we've gone through that prep work, we are ready to polish. Now, what is so... Polishing is easy, but it's also scary, and you get nervous. So I'm going to show you my, my pro polishing tips. You need a base coat, you need a color coat, and you need a top coat. You must have all three to get a really great manicure. So I'm going to just show you really quickly how to do that. Again, I'm using Sticky, which is a base coat. And now how you're going to polish is you want to hold the applicator correctly. You also want to like put um, the pressure of just your hand. You want to stabilize, excuse me, stabilize your hand by putting your pinky somewhere either on your hand or on the towel or wherever you need to to just really get to make that stable. It's important that you do that so then you're not shaking and all over the place. So I'm just going to place this about a quarter of an inch away from the cuticle area and then push it back and then pull it forward and then go side to side and then cap the free edge. That is so important and it makes polishing so easy. Push back, pull it forward, side to side, cap. Now here's the trick here too, as you push back, my eye is on the bristles. I am not looking at where the product is going. I'm not looking at my nail. I am just paying attention to the bristles of the brush. This is such a great trick when polishing because it just will put the product exactly where I want it to go. So make sure that you keep your eye on the bristles. So now I'm going to use OPI and I love this color. It's called My Private Jet. It's fantastic and if you don't know it, you're about to know it and love it. It's black with this iridescent sparkle. It's fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe the excess product off the wand. We don't want a ton of product on the brush, but we want just enough that we have a good coating and enough product to work with. So I again, I'm going to place the product here and push back and pull forward. Now, have you ever noticed that when you go get a manicure, the polish line back here around your cuticle is always just straight and perfect? And then when you go home and you paint your own nails, it's like you just can't get that line to be straight. It's all wavy and bumpy and it just doesn't look as good. That is because of the pushback trip are not using the pushback trick. So we're going to go ahead with our second coat. You absolutely have to do a second coat. Using one coat, it's just it's just not going to look as good. It just really isn't. I mean, if you prefer one coat, I guess that's your, your preference and that's okay. But if you really want to get a great dimension to your polish and a great coverage and a great look with the color, you'll want to do a second coat. Now, I got a little bit on my nail there, but that, or my skin there, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about that just yet. Now, another trick with polishing is I will just drag it over onto the side. Drag it on the side. So you go forward and you press back and pull it down and then I just drag it over. Drag it over. Again, with my eye being on the bristles. Excellent. And you know what? Since I got a little bit on the skin here, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more and intentionally make a little mistake there. 
because when we do make mistakes, we do not pull out our Q-tips and our polish remover and start cleaning it up. I want you to use a dry disinfectable cuticle pusher or an orange wood stick. And I want you to go around and just scrape off the edges, okay? Now, I know it doesn't get the polish completely off, but we're not using Q-tips and remover. Now I'm going to use my top coat. This is super shiny. Um, super shiny high gloss top coat. It dries very hard. I love it. It will not chip. Your manicure will last at least a week with this stuff. So again, we're going to go through the exact same process with our top coat. Now you want to make sure you get enough product on your brush, okay? Not having enough product on your brush and doing like these little fast baby strokes, I mean, just make your manicure look really messy. It's important that you have enough product and that you do long, even strokes. And you can flip the brush too if you need a little bit more. So how do we fix the mistake? We're going to use our top coat to fix the mistake. I'm going to wipe my top coat here. This is a pro's trick that I know you're just going to love me for. <laughs> wipe top coat on the polish and then just scrape it right off. Do you see how easy that comes off? I want my manicure to look good, so I could just wait until I wash my hands, but I don't know. I want to get it taken care of right now. So again, just dab a little bit wherever you got it on the skin, and it just scrapes right off. Isn't that fantastic? So fun. And you can, if you want, go around again. And this is another trick I do, all right? I pull back the cuticle, well, we'll call it the cuticle area, after I polish. Now the reason I do this is because it helps the manicure last longer and I want to pull any product away from the cuticle and the sidewall right now at this point. Because as I, my nail grows, if I have any top coat in that area, then it's just going to lift and chip. Like if you ever noticed your manicure chips at the cuticle area, that's because there's some product on there and then when the nail grows it starts to lift and pull away. So this is just a little trick that just helps that from happening and it helps your manicure last longer. Now I'm going to use a quick dry spray. This is Solar Speed Spray. It's an amaretto scent. Amazing. And just do a little spritz. And then for drying, I always make my clients sit under a desk lamp. Just a regular old desk lamp. So after you've done that for five minutes, then your polish should be pretty okay. I would still be careful with it. And there you have it. Voila! A perfect, beautiful manicure and it looks great. I love it. Do you dig it? I'm so proud of you. You did fantastic. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. And this is Jenny Hansen, the Nail Critic. Bye! <laughs>